everyone, it's Kimmy. Welcome back to Jolvi. And whew, I have been having a morning today. A struggle that I'm actually going through right now is internet addiction. And I just wanted to talk about that and also talk about what I'm doing to fix it for myself. Um, and I'm very early on in this, uh, like super um, intentional uh, mindset of trying to stop my addiction because I feel like it's something that I haven't really fully accepted as an addiction because <laughs> you know like I don't know I feel like there's stuff like alcohol and uh, drugs and stuff like that that people kind of accept as things that you could be addicted to and it's just, like serious business and you should take it seriously to like get help and stop but the issue with our current society right now is that it's so normal to be addicted to the internet and addicted to our phones and I think for me it's gone it got to a point where I've just realized that I just don't want to live my life that way anymore. Um, and of course it's a bit ironic considering I'm still making videos and I still have this dream of creating like an online community all about um, things that I'm passionate about. But I feel like it's possible to find balance in that and not be like going overboard with my internet time. In our lives, things come up in our brains that aren't very comfortable to think about, like feelings and emotions and issues and uncomfortable vibes that, of course, we'd rather not feel. Like, I would rather not feel, like, frustrated about my own, like, identity and my own choices and, like, if I'm, like, just chilling in my day and then all of a sudden this feeling pops up that's like, you shouldn't do that, you are being bad or you are being lazy, um, what are you supposed to do today? You feel bored, why do you feel so anxious? Um, just little things, I don't know, it's really hard to kind of verbalize anxious thoughts, verbalize negative emotion, but you know how it feels when you're just chilling and then all of a sudden you feel like this heavy negative energy and it's so easy to just grab your phone and use your phone and all of a sudden you're transported into this internet world where you can get likes and emails and Facebook posts and YouTube videos that make you feel better. Like for me, I feel better when I look at that stuff. And um, I've realized that I'd gotten to the point where I was waking up first thing, going on my phone, on the train, first thing, going on my phone. Um, in class, I would even sneak looks at my phone. I would use the phone all the way home. I would be on my computer when I got home and I'm just like, there isn't a time in my waking day where I'm not either on my phone, on the computer, or thinking about wanting to be on either of those devices. And I don't know if everyone else is quite as extreme as me, but I've realized that for me, it's not just a, a little thing in my life, it's like a serious problem. <laughs> I just wanted to share what happened today when I decided to not go on my phone <laughs> first thing, and I haven't been on my phone today, I think it's like, time is it? I think it's like almost noon now um, and normally what I do when I wake up is I go on my phone and then I find that the hours just fly by so I have the first thing that I've noticed is that since not going on my phone today at all I have found that time is much more abundant for me like when I have uh, when I'm going on my phone all the time or on the computer all the time it feels like I don't have enough time in the day because when I go on the computer I just spend hours on the computer. Like I can just spend unlimited amounts of time browsing YouTube videos, browsing the internet, etc, etc. Um, there's always something new I can look at and be entertained by and therefore I completely neglect other areas of my life like keeping my room clean and um, I don't know, uh, just having time to sit and daydream and, and be inspired by things and experience like my senses just like uh hearing the birds and feeling the sun on my face and hearing and like listening to my own thoughts and understanding what my body and my brain my like feelings are telling me about my current um situation like maybe my body's saying i feel tired or maybe my body's saying I have this idea for a new video or maybe my, my brain is saying I feel really anxious and sad about this thing but maybe these kind of feelings and thoughts and emotions I wouldn't recognize because I was numbing myself with my phone and I don't know if um I don't know I guess guess that what I found today when I decided to not use my phone is I um 
I was so much more productive. Like, I got up and I, and I guess the first thing that I always think about when I, the first thing that I thought about when I was like, I'm not going to use my phone, I'm going to just get up and have a shower and etc, etc. My brain likes to trick me and be like, well, what are you going to do? I don't know what to do. Because my body and my brain is so used to just being like, well, the first thing you do when you don't know what to do is just go on the, on the phone, go on the computer. Um, but the issue is that there's always other things that I could be doing, should be doing. I don't really like the word should, but like, you know, there's stuff that I have in my like to-do list that should get done. Um, and when I don't have the phone, don't have the computer to go on to, I got up, had a shower, I cleaned my room, I took the trash out, I um, put lotion on, which I normally don't do, my skin's kind of dry. <laughs> um, I made myself some coffee, I wrote in my morning pages, I went downstairs and I made myself some avocado toast, I um, came upstairs and I like did a little sweeping of my room because there was like gunk all over the floor that I just hadn't noticed was there. Um, I like organized everything so the floor doesn't have stuff all over it, like I had like a pile of clothes in the corner, I got rid of it, um, and I, um, I don't know, I guess the, the thing is with the internet is that I know that all the stuff I do online, like watching YouTube videos, creating for Joel V, um, communicating with my family and my boyfriend and um, being there to communicate with people, which is important to me, like all of that stuff that I like to do on the internet can be done in a shorter amount of time. Like if I block out a period of time in the evening to go on my computer and do all this stuff. I can still enjoy it, but I don't need to be spending all of my time there. So yeah, that's just currently how I'm feeling. If internet addiction is something that you're struggling with, I'd love to hear how you've been dealing with it and what you've found has happened when you've stopped using your phone. Um, and yeah, it's definitely hard. I know that it's gonna be hard because I feel the impulse to check my phone like every moment of the day, so it's not, I, I know that if I stop using it, it's gonna become less and less intense, but yeah, so that's how I'm feeling. I, I just think that the way we use devices today has just become so toxic, um, at least for me, so I, I don't know, like, yeah, it's just a bit of a struggle, so. Let me know what you think, and thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>